one of the most important strategies in preventing hair thinning and regrowing your hair is improving the scalp circulation when your hair follicle is not receiving enough oxygen enough nutrients what happens that there is increased chances of hair thinning hair fall and your hair cannot regrow because there is decrease in the anagen phase two important factors that can lead to decreased availability of oxygen at the root of your hair follicle are fibrosis and calcification fibrosis around the follicle also called as peri follicular fibrosis can result in shrinkage of your hair follicle and that can lead to decreased availability of oxygen and increased chance of hair fall and hair thinning so what is the exact mechanism of fibrosis fibrosis happens because there is excessive cross linkage of collagen cross linkage is extremely important to provide strength to collagen but when there is excessive cross linkage of collagen what can happen that this can cause fibrosis and it can result in a condition which is commonly referred to as tight scalp one of the important causes of scalp fibrosis is advanced glycation end products so if you are someone who has insulin resistance there is increased chance of having increased advanced glycation end products so you must improve your lifestyle you must improve your insulin sensitivity and you must not eat junk foods especially you want to avoid high fructose corn syrup as well as you want to avoid over cooked food deep fried foods all those stuffs in order to decrease advanced glycation end products because this will result in fibrosis especially if you have high dht in your scalp and if your dht if you are sensitive to dht that means you have a familial history of androgenic alopecia so this is very very important that you improve insulin sensitivity then due to zinc deficiency also the likelihood of fibrosis and tight scalp and decreased scalp circulation can happen zinc deficiency can result in increased activity of allicine and hydroxyallicine these are part of an amino acid lysine that takes part in collagen formation when there is over activity of allicine and hydroxyallicine what can happen that this can result in fibrosis too much collagen production over a single place can result in peri follicular fibrosis and this is mainly due to zinc deficiency so make sure you are getting enough zinc in your diet correct zinc deficiency as soon as possible second important thing is calcification of the arteries inside your scalp which provide oxygen which provide blood at the root of your hair follicle so when there is calcification what happens that there is decreased availability of bl blood one of the most important thing in preventing calcification is magnesium and not many of us are getting enough magnesium through diet if you eat only cooked food that means the chances of magnesium deficiency is very high if you do not eat vegetables if you do not eat fruits if you do not eat nuts and seeds then the chances of magnesium deficiency is very very high also if you have a chronic stress or you take too much alcohol too much uh, caffeine all those things can deplete magnesium then another important thing is vitamin d vitamin d is also very important to prevent calcification of your arteries and k2 so it's important to get all these nutrients in order to prevent calcification now what you can do to have an anti fibrotic effect one of the most important nutrients which exert anti fibrotic effect and helps in regrowing your hair is taurine taurine is mainly synthesized by cysteine and cysteine is considered as one of the most important amino acid for your hair it's a sulfur containing amino acid so you must eat sulfur rich foods like meat uh, cruciferous vegetables allium vegetables like garlic onion radish carrot all those things and if you are a vegan then the chances of being taurine deficient is very very high because taurine is naturally found in animal and animal products so if you are a vegan you have to be extra careful because the chances of being taurine deficient is high and especially if you have dht which is on the higher side and if your scalp receptors are sensitive to dht then and if you have taurine deficiency then all those things can lead to fibrosis and rapid hair fall so you must make sure you are getting enough taurine get enough cysteine get enough magnesium d k2 
decrease advanced glycation in products by improving insulin sensitivity so lose weight in a healthy way gradual way and correct zinc deficiency so these things are going to uh, prevent hair fall also taurine is going to exert anti-inflammatory effect at the root of your hair follicle because it decreases the expression of transforming growth factor beta 1 there are other things that you can do for improving the circulation and improving the stem cell uh, proliferation like scalp massage and low laser light therapy so these two things can also be tried to help in regrowth of your hair if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this video thank you